Hi, I'm Jason Alexander, internationally beloved comedy superstar and sex icon, as well as the director of this man's play, Windfall. My name is Scooter Peach and I'm the writer of Windfall and I'm very lucky to have this guy directing the first performance of it. I've had experiences where uh, co-workers in my music studio and that kind of thing would often have conversations about buying lottery tickets and it always came up when the number got big enough. So let's say the lottery was a hundred million. Well, there's no really point in buying a ticket at a hundred million. You gotta wait till it's really gonna change your sure. mind. So in this particular case, in Windfall, it's $350 million. And so there was one time when this was happening and every, there was a frenzy in the studio with everybody wanting to buy tickets and it was something like the 400, 350, 400 million dollar jackpot. And I was fascinated by how people were planning their lives in full seriousness of what was going to happen when they definitively won that lottery and how, how that money was going to fix all the problems in their lives. Right. I think the, the play brings out the fact, and it's mentioned a couple times by a couple of characters, that we all have to find happiness in what we have right now. You can't put happiness on hold till something happens later on, such as you get that house or you get some kind of money or you get whatever else. You've got to find happiness now. So I, I love that idea of people basing their lives on a complete roll of the dice. So that was the original inspiration. Then I had to find a setting that made it work, that made them desperate enough to do the really fun things that I wanted to have happen later on in the play. So that ended up being a data entry business that's just tedious and boring. And I set it in Columbus, Ohio, because I thought that was kind of an everyman's town in, uh, in middle America. And uh, yeah, so it went from there, and the play has developed over a couple of years. We did early readings in Los Angeles, and when uh, Bob Huppet, the Arkansas rep, said he wanted to do it, it went through a few more changes, and here we are. What actors and directors and designers and everybody that collaborates around that text do is they find this thing that we call literally the subtext. So Scooter provides the text, it's our job to provide all the life that lives underneath those words. And without it, uh, you know, you have a lecture. You have, you could do a reading. It wouldn't be theater. Um, what is so much fun, and I, and I hope is equally fun for Scooter, is you unearth things that the writer didn't know was there. Absolutely. That's and the it, fun it, part. Yeah. I, I've lived with the script for a couple of years, and I know it very, very well. And to see what he's bringing out and the rest of the creative team are bringing out of the script is like, I, I, even as the writer, I didn't know it was there. And it becomes, um, you, you try and get at the script in as good a shape as you can before it gets on the stage. And then you're just crossing your fingers as the writer that there's more there than you put technically on the page. Yeah. And, and it's really fun. And, and sometimes it'll come from something I can observe or something that, you know, by digging into the play, I've realized must be going on in order for these people to do and say these things. But sometimes an actor will just have a spontaneous moment and you go, oh my God, that suggests a whole life or reasoning that you, you or a sense of humor or that you just didn't imagine. And then you get to go, that's great. How do we make gold out of that? How do we keep that idea going? I want them to come out with some version of wow. Wow, that was unbelievably funny. Wow, that was unbelievably moving. Wow, I really learned something or realized something. You know, it, it can't be an experience where you just went, that was nice. I don't like nice experiences in the theater. It can be a, a, an experience that challenged you where you go, you know what, that, I'm really having a lot of feeling about that and not all of it maybe is positive. But then you go, why am I having, it's just a story. Why am I so, you know, emotional about this story? Whatever it may be, that's okay. As long as you have an experience and if it doesn't leave a mark on your life, it hasn't done its job. And that's what we're hoping to do.